We're often reminded of the problems of an aging society and declining birth rates. However, it seems good news is on the horizon. And we have one often overlooked and undervalued group to thank, older women. This week it was revealed that the number of women having children over 40 has doubled in the past 20 years, with nearly 29,000, and I quote, middle-aged women in England and Wales having children in 2017. Technological advancements mean women have more options than ever before, and increasing numbers are choosing to delay motherhood for when they are more emotionally and financially capable of caring for a child. This change is also helping to level the playing field in terms of how we value women in Western society, which is usually disproportionately on youth, aka fertility. Nonetheless, as IVF becomes more commonplace, we need legislation to close the loophole that means long and short-term health impacts on women undergoing the procedures aren't monitored. So instead of constantly knocking older women, we better start thanking and protecting them, because when it comes to our future prosperity, they might just be our saving grace. We have a birth rate in this country of just over 800,000. Mm. And there is an increase, as you said, of women over 40 having children. Um, my wife uh, had our fourth child in her 40th year. And, you know, that is now not unusual no. at all. Mm. Uh, and, and how things have changed. You've got to look back to history. My great-grandmother in India got married when she was 13 and would have children. And I've got a 13-year-old daughter, and the thought of her having children, she had nine children, you know, that's what things were like then. going back a, a century ago mm. and how things have changed. There is, of course, there are many reasons why this is happening. The technological advance, of course, mm. is huge. Yeah. There's lifestyles, there's a working uh, part of it. But there is a flip side to it. And, and um, the, the medical director of Create Fertility, Professor Geeta Nargun. Who's a dear friend of mine. So she, yeah. she mm -hmm. said, a reproductive tourism for older women to go abroad for donor eggs and come back pregnant is increasing. It can cost the NHS hundreds of thousands of pounds to deal with pregnancy and neonatal complications, such as miscarriages, preeclampsia, multiple births, and stillbirths in these women. The older fathers linked to these women also have children with a greater risk of autism and psychiatric difficulties. So there is the negative side to it, but on the whole, I think it's very positive, and I think modern scientific advances have made this more and more possible. Yep. And the thing with, just to add to that, I totally uh, accept your point in terms of the health implications regarding the child, but I also think, and this is something that Geet has done a lot of work on, you also need to make sure we're protecting the mother. But you can scan for a lot of these um, uh, potential birth defects in children. So the technological advancements also means that we can help prevent some of these things too. I mean, the, the cars against are stacked against 40 something women by in life they're, in they're, general they're stacked against them however in, in terms of society they're not because 40 something women have had a crack at a career they they're they're more financially mature they're more emotionally mature they're 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 likely to make more mature child rearing decisions and and interestingly i, I read something the other day that said you know women in their 40s are more likely to breastfeed than, than younger women so actually that's great for the child too my my, my only worry is that some women have to wait till they're 40 in a better world women would have social support to make decisions for career building and 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 you know uh, and family and building bearing. in a way that men do yeah. but but then the choice would be to have the choice when to have kids would be a true choice yeah. then yeah. but that's not happen and that's what i fear about older women that they feel they have to work yeah. to a certain age but what about you you're 41 now i am what yeah. about you so that means i'm going to be you, a middle-aged mum would, would you have would you have a child alone or would, I would you wait never for have the a child alone I, I mean and i'm not against anybody who would you mm. know michelle and i've had this debate many times on the show i personally would not do it without a, a, a secure a partnership no so if you didn't meet someone, the, apart, you wouldn't? There are but lots of ways to be a mother. I'd, I'd happily, you know, go and work in an orphanage. There's lots of um, things. Well, you pointed to him, I thought you were going to adopt him. Yeah, happily adopt him. Can I just say, 
No one celebrates women in their 40s more than I have down the years. And in fact, I celebrate as often as I can with one currently. And I'm very happy celebrating a woman in her 40s. And it doesn't fall to anyone, let alone a man, mm. to tell a woman when she should have a child. Yeah. All I would say is, yes. and I'm surprised it's not come up yet, and if you want to have a, woman, a baby when you're 41, 40, good luck to you and I hope it goes well. Bear in mind, because of the brilliance of our clinicians and doctors, it's likely that your mum and dad are going to be around a lot longer. So you're going to find yourself looking after mum and dad who could be in their 60s and, and 70s children. and suddenly you're going to have one, maybe two babies. So you are going to have, and if that's what you want, well done. But we are what you will be in the trap. You'll be looking after mum and dad, possibly increasing frail health, mm -hmm. little baby, maybe two. Man alive, you will need the stamina of an Olympic athlete. Mm. Not not a good I mean, I remember that when I was in my 20s, my mother said, you know, there's never a good time to have a baby. And I ended up having three in my 20s. Mm. <laughs> and um, combining it with full-time work wow. um, at that point. Yeah. Which yeah. was you had which job at that point, I, I, I was actually working in my 20s. Well, those are the days, weren't they? <laughs> I'm proud to recall those, those teddy days. That's when you could afford that restaurant. <laughs> And there is no getting around it. It it's is hard. a slog. Yeah. Yeah. It is a slog. And also, you're doing it at a time when you're supposed to be establishing yourself in your own career. Mm. So there is a, uh, the upside of doing it age 40 plus is you have hopefully established your career. You can take time out six months out of the office, make, your, make the dad take over the paternity, do, do the further six mm. months. Now mm -hmm. we've got actual now paternity that, yeah. leave that men do yeah. not take advantage of. No, I mean, the right. rate of take but up of paternity. Also because of the pay minuscule. disparity, though. There's other reasons as to why men don't. But the well, downside you, no, is, can I, I just mention question? a couple of downsides? Yeah. You know, Mother Nature, you cannot beat the clock. And if you have your babies in your 20s, I'm very much against children having children. God, that stomach turns at that thought. But if you have them in your 20s, you have the energy. And, and it's can physically easier. Can I ask easier. one question yeah, quickly? Wanna... Knowing what you know now, do you wish you'd waited? Would you? No, no. no so I'm happy? absolutely thrilled that okay. you know my children are now adults, and um, I'm you. able well, to look after my yeah. own there's, there's another point building on what you've just said: is that <laughs> if you if you start having children when you're 40, then um, if you want to have three, four children, it makes it yes. much more difficult. Yes, but so, then again, you're more likely yeah. to have multiple births when you're older. And that's also and you know, Mother Nature has a way of fixing we these We must things. mention the fact that if you can't conceive naturally, the, the rate of IVF con successful conception is only about yes. 18, 17 yeah. percent. Mm, yeah. And that Very is low. not great. No. So if you know you are, you're dicing that with, is it, with your own though, conception. That is advancing every year. They're is getting it? more and more advanced. It is, yeah. um, and I, would, I wouldn't be surprised if that increases significantly in the years to come.